Welcome back weirdos. I am Grant Beardo and today we're going to talk about the four different oil pumps that I offer, OEM and three high flow pumps. Let's check them out. First pump I offer is the OEM Honda oil pump modified for dank woolies. Next we have a Koso, the Takagawa and the Kataka. This Kataka is cleverly disguised. I sold out of these like within six hours of what I, when I made them. So I didn't get the video done in time, but uh, this is a test pump that I have. It is disguised so people don't know what I'm doing because I'm gonna be like that. Why do we need a whole high flow oil pump? If you have a stock engine, you don't need it. It's not gonna hurt it if you wanna use it. If you have a Kotaku clutch cover, you're adding volume to the system. So it would be a good idea to have one. If you have a uh, big bore kit, you should probably have one, or you sh actually should have one for sure. If you have a big bore kit or an oil cooler for sure, you're adding way a ton of volume into the system. So you wanna be able to compensate for that. But anyhow, that OEM pump I offer just real quick. You can see about it in a different video up there. Just for, this is like our baseline comparison purposes. The OEM oil pump, the gears, the gears and an OEM oil pump are this wide. That's our baseline, okay? The difference between the width of the gears determines how much oil you're gonna flow, the volume of oil that it's gonna, that it'll move, which you can see about in the, other video up there where I go over the stock one. The wider these are, the more oil, oil it's going to flow. All these pumps have the same diameter of gears. The widths are what varies and that determines the flow. All right, remember that. That's why this is zero. This is our baseline the OEM pump. The Koso pump claim it, it is 12 millimeters wide. They claim a 40% increase over stock flow. This is what it looks like. It's basically an OEM pump. Every pump I offer here, all of them are 100% complete and ready to install. None of this 80% bullshit. I buy new pumps so that I can make these complete. You don't need to dick around with using your old parts. Takagawa comes with everything. The, the Koso doesn't and the Kataka we don't. So I make those complete. I'm looking out for you guys. And you also get the original packaging with each of the pumps. I don't hold back stickers or hold any other crap. And, Whatever. What I get, you get. That's how it works. Coso, 40% claim over stock. It's basically a stock pump with wider gears in damn near every aspect. Next, Takagawa, my favorite. Also 12 millimeter, remember? But they only claim 35%. I think Coso is full of shit and their marketing department decided to inflate the numbers. And just let's round it up to 40. Hey, more people buy them, whatever. I think this is more accurate. 35% is the claimed flow over stock. The Takagawa is a beast. It is, there are four screws that hold that backing plate on, all located around the center of the pump, right where they need to be. And there's an extra one back here at the back. This thing is beefy. I could bash somebody's skull in with this thing without even trying too hard. Not that I would need it. So this one, you'll notice <laughs> everything about it's different. Castings are much beefier. This whole area is filled in. You can see and this is different out throughout here as well as even around the back. These, these are a beast of a pump. I love the Takagawa. I think that's the best of, that's offered. And again, you get everything with it. It got all kinds of paperwork that comes with it. <laughs> and these are again, 100% complete, ready to install, pre-primed, ready to go. Lastly, the Kitako. Its gears are 12.5 millimeters wide and it claims 40%. Yeah, see, Kitako, Takagawa, Koso. How is Koso claiming 40%, Takagawa 35 and Kitako 40 when they are the only ones that have the bigger gears? The biggest, exactly. So I, I kind of tend to believe that this is more accurate. The Kitako pump, sorry for again, the R&D deal here. Uh, I'm gonna hide that stuff. It looks the same here underneath that on a regular Kotaku anyhow. They've added another webbing on theirs. That's really about it. There's not much difference in the Kotaku from a Koso other than the width of the gears. And again, these are complete, ready to go out of the box when you get them. That's pretty much the three of them explained. Which one do you need? Stock engine, I wanna do wheelies and not worry about my engine. These three, if I've modified my engine oil system in any way by adding, volume with a cover or a oil cooler, or I am adding the CCs of the engine and it's gonna need more cooling, it's gonna need more oil to the head, big block, anything like that. Even a, if you do a high comp, high compression piston stage three, DHM stage three, I would throw a, a high flow oil pump in it. You can put them in a stock engine, you're not gonna hurt it. So why not? It's, that's just go along with it. Just plan on throwing an oil pump in it. 
if you want to do wheelies and 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 use those components. Koso, I kind of put at the bottom. Takagawa is my personal favorite. And then Kataka underneath that. Everybody's got a hard on for Katakos for some reason. Probably because of the 40% that they're claiming. But I think the robustness of this pump outweighs any that any 5% claimed oil flow over the original. So those are my thoughts. That's what I offer. Everything is on the site at grumbeardo.com. If you got anything out of this video, please give it a like. That helps it to get to other people. And it helps me too, of course. Subscribe if you want. Try and get as much tech crap out there as I can. Tons of group ride videos coming out this summer. I'm going to Grom Day. Fuck yes. And uh, <laughs> I'll be at the Small Bore Rally, of course. And I'm hitting Barber Small Bore the weekend before that too. That's gonna be a long week and a lot of riding. Hopefully my bikes hold up. I'm sure they'll be fine. But uh, I hope to see you out at some of those rides. If you've bought anything from me or if you see me, please come up and say hi. I, the people are the best thing about this community. They've been so welcoming to me and I really enjoy giving back to everybody. I'm just, I'm just really appreciative of everybody. Anyhow, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next group guide. Take care, bye.